In this lesson, I'll show you how to find a numerical solution of second order differential equations. Let's start with the first example. Transform y double prime plus 3y prime plus 4xy is equal to zero into two first order equations. What you have to do here is make the substitution that y prime is equal to m. And by doing that, you can transform the second order equation into the two first order equations that I'll show you. So let's set y prime is equal to m that's our first of two first order equations. And I'll substitute this y prime with m, and y double prime will be substituted with m prime. So we have m prime plus 3m plus 4xy is equal to zero. Now we solve for m prime. We get m prime is equal to 3m, and that's negative, minus 4xy. This is the second of the two first order equations. And another way you can write this one is by saying m prime is equal to f at x, y, and m. Now that we've been introduced to this idea, let's move on to question number two. Find an approximate solution to the equation y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to 2e to the power of x with the boundary conditions y prime is equal to 2 times e at the point 1 and 0. Find the points from 1 to 3 in steps of 0.1. This right here will represent delta x. To do this relatively difficult question, the first thing that we have to do is, just like in question number one, set y prime is equal to m. So we'll set y prime is equal to m, and our equation becomes m prime minus 2m plus y is equal to 2 times e to the power of x. Solving for m prime, we get m prime is equal to 2e to the power of x plus 2m minus y. And this represents my function at x, y, and m. Now we're also told the boundary conditions. y prime is equal to 2 times e at the point 1 and 0. At our initial point p, we've been told what x and y are. This will represent x at p, and this coordinate will represent y at p. And this 2 times e will represent the slope at that point, which I'll call m at p. I'll take these values and substitute them into this function, and that will get me the slope m prime at p. Let's go ahead and do that. We have m prime at p is equal to 2e to the power of 1 plus 2 times m, and m can be replaced with 2 times e, minus our y coordinate 0. Let's use our calculator. Starting off with 2 times e, plus 2 bracket e times 2 minus 0 is 16.3096. Now that we found m prime at p, we can start to find the information we need at the point r. And to do that, I'll be using these four formulas. Let's start with x at r. x at r is defined as x at p plus delta x over 2 x at p is 1 plus delta x, in our case is 0 0.1 divided by 2. 0 0.1 divided by 2, and we end up with 1 plus 0 0.1 over 2, I'll use my calculator, 1 plus 0 0.1 over 2 gives us 1.05. Now let's find y sub r. According to the formula, we have yp, which is 0, plus m at p, which is 2 times e, times 0 0.1 over 2. Using our calculator, we get 2 times e, bracket 0 decimal 1 over 2, and this gives us 0 0.2718. 0 0.2718. Next we'll find m sub r. We'll use this formula. m sub r is equal to m sub p, which is 2 times e, plus m prime sub p, which we found was 16.3096, and that's being multiplied to 0 0.1 over 2. If you place this into your calculator, you should end up with 6.2521. And finally, m prime sub r. m prime sub r, for that, we will use our formula, which we found up here, 2 times e to the power of this number, 1.05, 1 
plus 2 times m sub r, which we have right here to be 6.2521, minus y sub r, which was 0 0.2718. Putting all of that into your calculator, you should end up with the following number, 17.9477. So you'll do this again for S and Q. Instead of going through all of this again, since all we're doing is following formulas, I'll just give you the numbers that you should get for S and Q, and then I'll tell you what to do afterwards. So these are the numbers that you should have gotten. Now that I've written down all of the calculations that you should have gotten, I'm going to show you what to do once you've found these final numbers. What we have here, YQ, is the predicted version of our next Y coordinate. To get the corrected version of y, which is shown right here in this formula, we take y sub p, originally that was 0, and add m average times delta x, which was 0 0.1. And to find m average, we use these two formulas. There's a mistake here, this should be y prime. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's find m average using the formula 1 over 6, mp was 2 times e plus 2 times mr, which we found in our own calculations to be 6.2521, 6.2521, plus what we found for ms, and that's shown right here, 6.3340, and finally, what we found for mq, which is right there, 7.2437. Putting this into your calculator, you should end up with the following number. Next, we find out what m prime average is. We'll use this formula. I'll fill it in for you. m prime p was 16.3096 plus 2 times m sub r, which happened to be 17.9477 plus 2 times m prime s, which we found over here to be 18.0707, plus, and the last part of this is m prime q, which is 19.8623. Calculating this, you should end up with the number that's shown on your screen. So taking 0 plus my average times 0.1, let's use my calculator, 6.3088 times 0.1. That gives us our corrected y of 0 0.63088. So yq is equal to 0 0.63088. And our corrected m, I'll write down corrected right next to it, that should also be shown right here, is equal to what we found for mp, which was given to us, e times 2, plus the average of 18.0348, multiply 2, 0 0.1. Calculating this, you should end up with this number. The computation is then repeated, and the remaining values are given in the table that you see to your left. And the exact y values are shown as well, just for comparison's sake. And you can see how close this method is to coming up with the actual answers. And so there you have it. That is how to find a numerical solution of second order differential equations.